Three child safety officers have been stood down and another nine face disciplinary action after a scathing report into the death of kabulcha toddler Mason Jet Lee. Child Safety Minister Shannon Fentiman says the internal review has revealed serious flaws with management and supervision. Leonie Mello reports. His face is remembered for all the wrong reasons. Mason Jet Lee died of internal injuries in June, allegedly inflicted by those closest to him. The death of Mason Jet Lee is an absolute tragedy, but we have to get to the bottom of what happened. A departmental review into the toddler's death points the finger at Caboolture's child safety staff. Three have been stood down immediately. Twelve in total have been referred to the department's ethical standards branch. This report highlights that there were serious errors of judgment and legislation, policy and practice was not followed. The region's child safety services will be split into two to cope with increasing demand. I am deeply concerned and angered by some of the findings in this report. So is veteran child safety advocate Cheryl Varden. I was appalled and shocked and distressed. The union argues workers are doing the best they can. While we'll do everything we can to make sure that children are the priority in the system, uh, we will not allow our members to become the scapegoats for a failing system. Several other government agencies who played a role in Mason's short life are also under scrutiny. It cannot happen again. It's unacceptable uh, if, we f if we find that um, uh, there's been a complete breakdown in systems and information sharing. Shadow Minister Ros Bates says Ms Fentiman should have acted sooner. If her response is just to blame everyone else, um, I'm sorry, but the fish rots from the head. This minister should resign. She won't, arguing extra resources and staff have been allocated since January. The internal report is just the start of finding out what happened to Mason Jet Lee. It will now form part of a wider investigation by an independent panel. The minister has promised to make that report public, a move she says is unprecedented. The report is due in January. Leonie Mellor, ABC News.